That disease is called AFM, acute flaccid myelitis, and it brings polio-like symptoms. Yeah, and today we learned that three of the 62 confirmed cases in the country are in New Jersey. And in New York, New York has three suspected cases, no cases yet in Connecticut. But 32 states have either suspected or confirmed cases of this frightening virus. It is frightening indeed. New Jersey reporter Tony H. live in New Brunswick with our disturbing lead story tonight. Tony. And Bill and Liz, unfortunately, there is not a lot that medical investigators know about this illness, especially how to prevent it. And that has been the scariest part for families who are affected. Parents have allowed cameras into their children's hospital rooms, their homes, their physical therapy sessions to show the debilitating effects of acute flaccid myelitis, a rare disease that affects the spinal cord, causing weakness or paralysis, primarily in the legs and the arms. We do know some of these children have had viral-like illnesses, respiratory illnesses. But like I said, we don't have one virus that, that we can say does this. In 2018, cases are up, with three suspected cases in New York State, three confirmed and three possible cases in New Jersey, and no cases in Connecticut. Overall, the CDC is reporting 62 cases in 22 states this year. We know it's not polio, um, but we haven't found a cause like a single virus. Seven-month-old Zoe Buter is recovering from her symptoms, but doctors aren't sure if she will heal 100%. She's a lot more mobile, a lot more active, still um, no strength in her arm. In Illinois, two-year-old Julia is finally recovering from AFM. A typical two-year-old before this, she was running around telling knock-knock jokes. Many of these children do recover. And it depends, like I said, on the case. The Dr. Melhatra and the CDC so. say parents should make sure their children are up to date on their vaccinations, make hand washing a frequent priority to prevent the spread of illness, and wear mosquito repellent. That some AFM symptoms are similar to the effects of West Nile virus, though no link has been discovered. It may be viral, it may be environmental, it may be genetic. We haven't really pinpointed the cause. Now, to be sure, there is no vaccine for AFM. The CDC is simply saying at this point, if your children have their scheduled vaccines uh, completed, that is the best case uh, to have protection for them.